Okay, this is my Slayer Exciter in the fuser. Um, it's already run down a bit, so you can't quite see the plasma so well. I'm going to turn the pump back on, and you'll see it get much stronger. Hold on. Okay, can you see that? That's just from the exciter. I'm going to stop it now. Can you see the wave fields uh, building up there? You should be able to see the natural waves. If you'll see it better from that direction, can you see the... So that's what the exciter looks like We're in the fuser. <clears throat> I love the glow mode, the plasma glow. Anyway, the next step, I'm going to try and get one of my old ion spinners uh, spinning in there at that low vacuum, or high vacuum, I don't know, what do they call it, high, low, hard? Anyway, um, I'm going to suck all the air out and then try the ion spinner in there and see what happens. I hope it'll I hope it'll get some motion, but I'm not sure because you're obviously sucking all the ions out. Um, well, not all of them, but a lot of them. But at the same time, you make the plasma get longer because the electrons can move further before they bump into anything. So I don't know. <laughs> Have to try and see. Okay, thanks for watching the exciter on the fuser. I'll give you one quick last demonstration of. <laughs> Amazingly enough. Should I quickly try reversing the polarity and see if it changes at all? I don't think it will, because obviously we're talking about AC here. But I think it looks beautiful, you know, the, the plasma looks great. So this is a Slayer Exciter. It's got an MPSA 13007 transistor, one, one coil, and a printer power supply, which is about 30 watts. It's about 30 volts at one amp. Okay, I'll give you one last look at the when it goes up. Oops.